Let's now look at what you can do with the rows and a little bit later the columns in a pivot table. So the first thing we just want to emphasize is notice that with the values the numbers are always in their own columns, their own cells. It looks like they're part of the cells. Depending on the report layout you've chosen that may not be the case when it comes to the rows. Notice here that we've got the month and destination network and January is here and the destination network, the cell C, is just kind of a little bit into the cell but it's in a single column. Depending on how you like to see it, you may prefer it like this. We, as accountants, like it or not, prefer to see it in its own columns. So to do that, go to pivot tables, you'll see under analyze, sorry under design, you'll see we've got a whole bunch of options and one of them is report layout and we'll just go through each of these so this one here is the compact one so what it means it's compacted in the sense that it is not using up too much space and it is quite useful when you're doing dashboards when you don't have that much space to use there's one called outline format which is slightly different you'll notice then that it's got the, some characteristics of the compact format in that the subtotals above but they do seem to be in their own columns and the layout that we prefer is a tabular format where each item is in its own column the subtotals are at the bottom so this is the way we prefer but depending on what you're trying to achieve with the pivot table you may want to consider something like the compact form with rows as well it's important to realize you can pretty much take anything you want and put it into rows so for example if I felt like taking another one I click and drag put it under here and you see it fills in so that looks a little bit untidy I'm just going to remove it and you actually can control as well where you want to see things so at the moment we've got months and then destination network but maybe we feel that destination network should be above months you just click and hold when you drag it up you'll notice the little solid line that appears there when you let go notice now we've got the destination network by months so you may find that simply by moving these things around you may find the report actually tells a better story or explains the numbers in a better way